Time lapse is mostly used for speeding up time. Time lapse works by capturing frames or still images, one after the other. The device being used is an iPad, and the app is iMotion. Other devices and apps will get just as good a result. If you have a tripod to keep the iPad steady, well and good. If you don't, balance it on something solid and keep it steady with your hands. Open iMotion. Select New Movie. The first setting to be made is the interval between each capture. iMotion goes from the fast rate of 10 frames captured every second down to the slowest rate of one frame captured per day. The faster an object being filmed is moving, more captures in a shorter amount of time need to be made. A skateboarder doing a trick would need to have 10, 4 or 2 captures per second. The opposite also applies. If an object is moving slowly, the less captures are needed over a longer period of time. A sun rising could be one capture a minute or one capture every two minutes. It could be even up to one capture every 10 minutes. When the interval between captures has been decided, tap start. The display panel will open. Now tap on display. There will be a grid icon at the top right. Tap on that. This will open up and will help you keep your subject lined up. Tap start when you're ready. To capture. When you're ready to finish capturing, tap stop. Now you have finished capturing your time lapse. The playback frame rate has to be set. The slowest speed is one frame per second. Thirty frames per second is the fastest. Choose what looks best for your time lapse. Another option is to set the iPad up as long as it is safe on a moving vehicle. When your time lapse is finished, it is time to export it. Tap on export. Make sure the video icon is highlighted. Then tap photo library. When it has finished exporting, close out of the project. Your time lapse will be stored in your photo library.